What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, the one with the scar in his face, your boy Scarface. And today we got a Ross Wines video for you guys. Uh, I know I'm falling a little bit behind on my videos just because uh, the, the week before we went to Boise and then this past weekend we were in California. So, I mean, <clears throat> I'm trying to catch up on the videos. Anyways, subscribe, hit that like button, and let's get into this video. As you can see off the top, we can, I, I've been finding these cleats like crazy. So, if you see these cleats, make sure you pick them up. Uh, they've been reselling really well. Uh, so Mike Trout's uh, his shoes they look kind of ugly to me, but you know some people like them. I don't like them at all. Uh, I ended up leaving those. And then these Pumas, <clears throat> I forgot the exact name, but they ended up flipping. Uh, it was they were selling for quite a bit online. I <clears throat> make sure you check uh, if you guys know how to check to find stuff on eBay. Make sure you guys check. And I decided to put these because you know some Steve Madden's for four dollars and ninety nine cents. I ended up leaving them though because I know I wouldn't have worn them. So what's the point of getting them if I'm not gonna wear them? Some Puma, the fly knit. These ones are dope. I love these for the gym. I already have two pairs, uh, and I barely wear those. I just I have way too many shoes. I need to stop buying so many shoes, and I need to start wearing the shoes I do have. These Converse mids were pretty dope too as well. Uh, cleats like crazy always pop up. Make sure you guys always check the cleats areas and also look them up and see if they're flipping, or if you're looking for a personal cop, you know it wouldn't hurt. And these almost like fly lit looking Puma Ignites were pretty clean too, all white. It just it sucks when Ross gets all white shoes because they don't treat them very well and they get all dirty. I mean, some Rosses do, some don't. It just depends who's working. Stan socks have been showing up like crazy. This dude, I know he was on the Knicks, he ended up leaving, but that's why they're super cheap. This Nike, it was almost like a raincoat, trench coat uh, for women's. Uh, ended up finding those. The Adidas EQT's been popping up in a bunch of different colorways. This infrared looking color, some green ones. Uh, you know, these are a little bit heavier than the other ones. So I ended up, you know, I didn't, those don't flip at all. So I ended up leaving them. Some Anthony Davis socks have been popping up like crazy too because he also wants to leave. You know, so they're getting rid of his socks so they don't have to sit on that inventory later on. Official this was like a hat brand from a while back ago. I saw this and it was a backpack So I decided to take a look at it uh, 1999 it's not bad uh, You know, I ended up leaving these woven's are dope which was wearing these the other day. They were they were fire I ended up buying the, the khaki look color ones I haven't worn them yet because it's been snowing and raining a lot here And I feel like it would get into my socks and whatnot so i haven't worn those but make sure if you see them pick them up they were like 30 bucks compared to like 120 130 what they regular cost these nike duck boots always you know perfect for summer or not summer but winter raining whenever just that weather and still look fly these sbs were pretty dope um i think they were women's i'm not 100 sure but i like how i had that detail on the swoosh uh, i ended up leaving those but this jersey i ended up copying because i mean 34.99 to try to see if it'll flip you know if not you can just return it it's an authentic it's, it was like retail 180 something like that here's those greens ones that we were talking about my cousin took th this picture and he really loves them uh, I'm not I'm starting to stray away from Adidas I'm mainly buying Nike but you know if you guys like it go go and cop them these Pumas are weird the back it almost looks like they were, they were trying to do that boost technology but it doesn't feel like boost but I think they're just trying to make that make it look like it that way people would be like oh look it's like boost so we'll just get these i don't know what they think that's what i think these Kyries have been popping up Kyries pop up like crazy i found some red ones and just a bunch of different ones perfect for basketball i know some people who wear them all the time for basketball especially if you're like the point guard you know that position great shoe uh just be careful make sure you you have your uh ankles wrapped up these Air Max ones, these gray, they were premium. But I actually picked these up. Uh, I, I think I might do a pickup video because I've been picking up quite a bit of stuff lately. Um, they they were also flipping online too, so I ended up copying them. They're on my eBay as we speak. I haven't sold them, but we'll see what happens. These oh, the bottoms of these were dope, and the inside was pink and the bottom was pink. <clears throat> but you know, like I said, I mean lows. I'm not really into lows. These Crocs, I just had it. You know, they're coming out with a bunch of different colorways, so I had to record these. Um, yeah, even Post Malone made a Crocs collab. These Ultra Boosts, these are more of like a hiking type of shoe. I ended up copping these to try to see if they flip, but they've just been sitting, so I just might take them back. These Forces have been popped up. I don't know what kind of 
shoe they are as you can see it has like the scissors in the back which was i thought was kind of weird but it could be some sort of collab if you guys know what it is let me know these pennies have been popping up too julio went to ross yesterday i think i believe and and he found those then he also found these like the uh what are they the sf special force air force ones i have those but in like an uh, orange colorway which are really dope they look dope on foot so if you ever get a chance you know pick a pair up these are like some flyknit sbs which is weird i've never seen that before um here are some adidas pumas they almost look like uh baseball cleats or not pumas freaking boost adidas boost they look like baseball cleats so i'm pretty sure they are some more flyknit the air max 90s have been popping up a bunch of different colorways have been popping up with this so if you ever get a chance i bought the navy blue kind and they're super comfortable with you so if you get a chance to buy a pair or you see like a solid color like the black one um, pick it up i would get the black ones but like i said i've been buying way too many personal pairs of shoes and they've just been sitting and then also hats have been popping up like crazy too it just depends you gotta go really go through it and check them out to see what you can find i found like falcons uh you know dodgers atlanta a whole bunch of different other ones especially the fitted it's, it's gonna be kind of hard to find your size it's usually like big sizes some lebron soldiers the ones with the straps on it these are pretty clean it's just again with the white you know what i mean like it's hard to buy a shoe that's white in my opinion the jordan trunners ugly ass shoe i don't even know why travis scott did a collab with these ones i think it was travis was it travis scott i'm not 100 percent sure but they did a, a collab with the, the trunners and uh, just a, such an ugly shoe some more air max 90s you, you know perfect shoe it goes with it, everything it's kind of like a jordan one uh, and they're super comfortable even if you want to wear some in the gym these nike uh the harachi boot looking things because that the sole right there is uh what they have on the harachi so i don't know if it's a boot or what it is to be exact but you know they have them. these these ones almost had like the scale on the side for 49.99 at size 7 it looks like it was in the girl section too these pretzels are dope they almost remind me of the safari ones which i ended up not copying which ones came out the air max ones in the safari totally slept on those totally wish i wouldn't have but i mean you win and you lose these adidas with boost at the bottom they almost look like some golf shoes i don't know what they were exactly i can't know everything you know what i'm saying um, here we also got some more air max ones with that swoosh look at that swoosh with the stripes and stuff some more of the air forces uh, the burgundy on the sway on the side the gum on the on the sole these look clean as hell they're obviously women's all oh, these cortez is that peanut butter peanut but that color is dope i like that i'm pretty sure it's women's too or who knows size 10 anyways that was a nice color and these ones are dope you, you see the swoosh it has like two different material or colors and materials um those are pretty clean 59.99 is a little high but you know i mean what can you do the nsw line uh this jacket it almost looks like a those pockets in the front are really weird i don't know i like it either way uh it says women's but then it says ms men's outerwear they need to figure the shit out 225 for 49.99 is not bad so ooh, i like the back of that that i like the the ones where the logos have been blocked out like them i don't know it's just something different something dope let me know what you guys think of that i personally like it here we have another looking like a trench coat kind of it's i'm pretty sure it's women's too um, the pockets are weird i don't know with girls with lt size lt uh, that's like long large tall 250 for 44.99 is not bad it's probably going to go on sale just because not a, a lot of women would buy it. this when julio sent this i asked him if he copped it or not because i'm going to go and cop it I have the LeBron 3s and it would go perfect with those, but it, just either way, it, just that vintage, you know, LeBron. It's not vintage, but it's like, oh, throwback. I thought it was dope. For 16 bucks, it's a size X large, I think. It looks pretty dope. Some Kobe's. These are from, uh, it's almost like a thrift, but they buy the stuff. They buy the better quality stuff, almost like, a, what's that store called? Play-Dohs? It's called Uptown Cheapskate. I know some, a lot of people have it. Uh, I don't know if you guys do in your town, but they have one here. This is where all this stuff is from. This uh, Redskins jersey. This is Griffin the third, I think. Uh, I don't think he's on the team anymore, but you know, yeah, see Griffin the third. 
I mean, it's a dope jersey if you want to have it for a collectible or if you're just a Redskins fan and you want to buy it, then it's a good pickup. $8, not bad. Uh, I was never a Redskins fan, so you're not going to go see me buy it. But if you guys are, make sure you check the thrifts because a lot of the stuff like this pops up. I was a huge Terrell Owens fan back when he was on the Eagles and the 49ers. After the Eagles, he kind of fell off. I know he was at the Cowboys, the Bills, and he, he just wasn't the same. Uh, the Eagle, that's why I like the Eagles a lot when he was on there. I just like the way he played, the way he showboated. Almost like, what's his name? Uh, David Beckham. But, you know, Terrell Owens did it first. 18 bucks is a lot for that jersey. Uh, to be honest, you know, he's not even on that team or the Eagles aren't that great. This Bulls warm up tank, I believe. It's an Adidas. It looks pretty dope. Basketball. Um. That's a weird. Oh yeah, that's like the official stamp on it. Size XL. You know, I, I wouldn't personally wear it. Oh, I'd probably wear it for the gym, but ten bucks. It's kind of a lot. Extra large. Uh, it's way too big for me. But like I said, I'm starting to stray away from Adidas. I've been buying mainly Nike, some Puma. This shirt was dope. Uh, I was gonna also go pick this one up because I think it was only like four bucks, and I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan. But it's a size small. As you can see right there, it says size small. That's not going to fit me whatsoever. So I'll probably just go and pick up the LeBron jersey. Make sure you guys subscribe to see if uh, the pickups. That way you can see if I picked it up or not. The Heat. This jersey also popped up at the Uptown Chiefs Cheapskate. I think this is the O'Neal jersey. Yeah, because I remember him being 32 on the, on the Heat. Uh, they won a championship with Wade. Or him and Wade didn't. Uh, he was still dominant on there. That was after he left the Lakers. Ten bucks. Uh, it's not bad. You know, it's my size too. And uh, I'm always a huge, still a huge Shaq fan. Let's see what else we got here. We got the Los Angeles an old school throwback Kobe jersey, size 52. Uh, has the patch on there. How much we got it for? 24 bucks. Yeah, it's a little high, but you know, it's a Bryant jersey, and I know there's a lot of. Kobe Bryant fans out there. This this has the it's got to be the shoes double XL. How much you got it for? Eight bucks. Not bad. I mean, I wouldn't buy it. It has a Spike Lee in the front. I think that was just a basic black. It looks like a yeah Jordan trainer shirt. Uh, the red stripes in the front. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this one was the one that was nine bucks. You know, that's a perfect gym jersey. Anyways, we are towards the end of the video. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm going to be dropping a lot more content. Um, I just try to catch up on my homework right now. Like, I'm, as soon as I put this video to upload, I'm going to start doing homework because I'm way behind. I'm way behind in videos, so I'm working on it. It's just me. Remember, it's just me. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.